and you just sit. Your your soul spirit is like the body's like a blood, and your soul spirit is just like your body. It just fits down inside. That's what's looking out of your eyes. It means that's your spirit. How many know that? All right. God took me up above the earth, and I was looking, and I looked down, and I thought. It came to me that was Jerusalem I was looking at. And the lights, it was at night that I was above the earth, not way in the heavens, just above the earth, looking. Almost like the uh, pictures you get from satellites. Yes. How many have ever looked on your TV and seen satellite pictures of the earth? Yes. Here I am. And let me tell you, when God takes you to the Spirit, you don't worry about uh, gravity. None of the seven powers that scientists have proven that operate in the universe uh, have an effect on you. Amen. Okay? I hope I want you to understand that when you're in the spirit. Like Paul was caught in the third heaven. When you're in the spirit. And so I was above uh, Jerusalem. And I was looking at the lights and I said, Oh Lord, this is Jerusalem. How do you know that's God's city? Amen. 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 I've heard people say to me over and over, Well, that's, you know, that's the Jews know it. They're not Jewish beasts. A lot of preachers say that. Mm. They better read their Bible again. Yes, they do. They are the feasts of the Lord. Yes, they are. And that is his city. Yes, sir. Ever say it's Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Israel. Israel. Belongs to God. Yes. Sir. He's put his name there. By the way, from the satellite, they've seen ravines, amen, and the valleys form the name of Yahweh. Mm. Uh -huh. he's, he's put his name there. Yes, they've yes. seen it from space. Uh -huh. yes, it's in yes. Israel. Uh -huh. I said God put his name there. Yeah. His name's yeah. there. Yeah. And the mountains and the valleys. Yeah. It's car. Yes, it is. Woo. Woo. Aren't you starting to get a little excited? I think yeah. my whole yeah. mm -hmm. We better oh I'm telling you, God's more in control than you think he is. Yeah. But Jerusalem is his city. Yes, he is. That's why he told the church, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. Satan knows. Yeah. Just as he worked through that little Jewish uh Tyrant to kill him, you know, Hitler. Because he knew God was getting ready to burn yeah. the nation of yeah. Israel. Yes. But he didn't, the devil didn't stop him. Mm. He tried to stop the birth of Moses. Uh -huh. I couldn't do it. Could he? Amen. He tried to stop the birth of Israel. He couldn't do it. Amen. Could he? he tried to kill baby Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. He couldn't do it. Could Amen. Hey, somebody get a clap off of him. Amen. He was not in control. He was not in control. So as I was up above the heavens and looking over Jerusalem, and the Lord said, look and see. And I turned to my right, which would have been kind of the, the uh, northern part of uh, where Israel is situated, which would have been Syria, Iraq, Iran. Guess what? Missiles came up out of Iran. Now this is years ago. You see it in the news today. So God showed me this years ago. And those missiles came up, and they were aimed at the city of God, Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. I understood that by the Holy Ghost. And yes, as I was standing there, I said, Lord, this cannot be. And he said, look and see. Come on. Hey. The angel of the Lord came hey. out of heaven, hey. and they touched those missiles. Amen. I'm telling you, you're going to witness this. This before the Lord takes this out of you. Uh-huh. And the angel of the Lord touched those missiles, and they did not hit Jerusalem. Amen. The one landed on Damascus, and it was obliterated. Yes. Study your scripture. Uh huh. Did you know that that's in the Bible? Yes. And Damascus, one of the oldest cities on the planet Earth, will cease to exist. Yes. Yeah. And others landed on Gaza. Uh huh. A lot of people don't know the curse of the Lord on the, uh, the Amalekites. Hallelujah. Amen. But that's it. That is the root of those who live in God. Yeah. And search. I don't have time to give you a teaching on that. And God said, I will blot them out from under the sun. So what was intended to destroy God's city and yeah. his people Come on. is going to destroy the enemies of his people, yeah. the enemies of the Lord. Uh, that's one thing that's getting ready to happen. That could be this fall. But the point is, out of that will come again a continuation of stirring up the nations. Yeah. I mean, the Russia's getting bold again. Uh-huh. Amen. Yeah. And it's leading. We know the battle of God and Magog. 
and then and uh, what's going on there they're gathering together it's going to happen yes, it's yeah. going to happen i want to take a little sidetrack here in our little church there two young men came in uh and uh make a long story short talking with sharon but they were entering the end worshiping the lord tears rolling and they got news they were from uh uzbekistan which is above afghanistan mm -hmm. and the muslims had gone in and uh where their families were all Christians and slaughtered man, woman, and child. Pentecostal spirit filled churches. Did you hear what I said? Pentecostal spirit filled churches, and they were all put to death, and that was these two young men, so they just wept. We wept with them. But they would not give up Jesus. Amen. Remember those two young men. This is going on in the earth mm -hmm. right now do you think our father in heaven is just sitting back in his easy chair and winking his eye at all that's going on do you think the nearly 60 million babies that have been murdered yeah huh, here in this nation alone mm -hmm. that god is just sitting there saying okay by the way god took a little four-year-old boy in the heaven i hope you've read the story but I have been there, so I'm going to confirm yeah. that it's in the book. And every one of them will say it's in the text. Yeah. yeah. Right. Amen. Every stillborn, every aborted baby, yeah, every little yeah. child killed that's died yeah. in infancy or been killed, yeah. they are there in heaven. Yeah. One of the responsibilities of saints there is to teach. Okay. Amen. You think your teaching is going to end here? I got news for you. You're going to keep teaching. And as those little babies, little children receive, the engrafted word of the Lord, they begin to grow. Mm -hmm. And they take on, and eventually they grow into the full stature of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. So, amen, amen. Just put that in your heart. Yeah. Amen. Tuck that away. So that people, you ask questions, well, you don't have to worry about it no more. God is a good God. Yes, he And is. I'm telling you, he is in control. Yes. God is in control. Yes. He is in control. And his saints that are being slaughtered all over the earth. Amen. They're with him. Yes. Precious in his eyes. The death of his saints. Yes. And so we see and we know that there's all of these things. But what I want to share with you, another thing, and I believe this is what we're about to experience. There's going to be a major earthquake in Southern California. Uh -huh. Not an eight pointer where bridges collapse, but an earthquake that is going to be so destructive. We've never